This is the River Can uh, in central Chelmsford and the river's flowing from my left across to my right. Got a beautiful view there as we go into, into central Chelmsford. Uh, now, the water, as you can see, is very, very uh, uh, light brown colour. And that is because there has been loads of rain over the last 48 hours. That rain has fallen on the land, oh, that's all that way, um, which is uh, Rittle and Roxwell um, and up, up towards the Chignalls and all the, all the way over to uh, the, the west side of Chelmsford. That rain has then made its way into the river through via surface runoff um, and through the little channels. And it's brought with it loads of soil uh, and all that stuff has then ended up in the river. Uh, now there's loads of energy in this water because it is it's fast flowing, it's, it's almost at a point of being at a time of flood. And so as a result, it's got loads of energy and that energy means it can hold on to lots of particles that are held in suspension in the water. And that means that the color of the water changes. Were it to be maybe two or three days later uh, into the future, this water probably, assuming we get uh, not too much more rain, and we're not likely to because the forecast is quite good, the water will then uh, change from being this brown color um, to being uh, a much more clear color that you would normally expect. Um, so when you come past the river, this river or any other river, look at the color of it and see if you can compare the color of the water to um, what you've experienced over the last couple of days in terms of rainfall, because there's probably gonna be some link. Okay, I'm back for part two of that video. Now, it hasn't rained for, well, it hasn't rained significantly for two weeks now or so. Exactly the same stretch of river, and exactly, in fact, just over there on that river bank, over that side, is where I did part one of this video. And you can see the comparison now of the water color. It is much clearer, in fact, not sure if you can make it out beyond the reflection of the clouds, but I can certainly see the um, the bottom of the river there. The fl there hasn't been as much rain, therefore not as much runoff, not as much energy in the water, and as a result, less fewer particles held in suspension, making the water clearer and more easy to uh, see through.